Right then guys, welcome to this first video of golf ball reviews and we are here at Ickleton Golf Course. Uh, big thanks to Jack Lee for letting me use this practice area so this is where we'll be filming all the videos and in this one today we have got we have got the Noodle Golf Ball Review. Now these are very reasonable for the price guys. Wilson staff do these, all the different brands are doing them, like I think Volvic were the first one to do these. They do them in all sorts of different colours, we literally have got a red and a blue one down there. And these are about, I think, £20 for a dozen or £15. I got these off Premier Lake Balls. Um, so yeah, a few things we're going to do today, we're going to test out the feel. Uh, what it's like off the face, what it's like at the bunker there, Hickleton have a little practice bunker, how it holds up, how it feels. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe and post your comments down below, so yeah. To be fair people, that is actually not bad to see the green one. It was a bit of a iffy shot. First swing at day, I've literally just got out of the car, so hopefully the next shot will be better. That is actually quite easy to see the green one. Next, we're gonna hit the blue one. And yeah, hopefully we can get a better sense how it feels off the face as well, because that was a bit of an iffy shot. that was a lot better of a hit and that felt so soft off the face such a clean strike that was actually really hard to see i did lose it when it went down so i'm not 100 percent sure where that one went the blue one which i did have a feeling it, it is a bit harder to see but it definitely feels really soft off the face so i'm going to hit the red one and see how easy that one is i think also they do a pink and another one but we are just going to review these these three colors today so yeah, that felt really nice. Yeah, the red one is probably the easiest one to see. The green one in second. The blue one, I'm not too sure where that went. I hope I didn't catch it too mental or that is probably gone. I did snipe it out towards the end, I think it's about 120 yards, 115 yards, which is about right for me, 52 degree. So yeah, let's go and see where these things landed. So while we walk down to where my shots have gone, guys, I hope you guys will enjoy this these golf ball reviews. It was an idea of mine, I think golf balls are a bit misconcepted we're also going to hit some bunker shots out of the uh, reason i'm taking you guys up here is to show you guys how easy these things are to see and to be fair the blue one's not bad i can see it so we've got the red one which has gone right here as you can probably see so the red one is right here the blue one is there which if i get my stupid hand that way you can just see it which is right there, and then the green one is just there. So these balls are actually really easy to see, so that's a massive positive for me. So that's what the red one's like, As again, because the amount of times I take shots and I can't see golf balls, so two relatively good shots. The blue one is actually easier than I thought, and then the green one, which is, a bit of a, a bit of a skanky shot for me warm up shot is right here. It doesn't blend in that much with the grass, but I don't know. You guys make what you want of that. I don't know why, but it's showing up a bit weird on the camera. Like there we go, that's it. So you know, a lot of people would argue it blends in with the grass, but if my camera will focus, really nice looking golf balls, and as I said, they were very soft off the face. Right, so I'll pick these two up and then his next test, I think we'll do a chipping for the next test guys. Right then guys, we have got a bit of a chipping test. Uh, so I've put 
They mean all different lies and all different things. So we've got the blue one over there, we've got the red one there, and then we've got the green one right there. And we're just gonna chip onto this banking. And also, what they like out of crappy lies. Now, my chipping ain't being the best route, but uh, I do apologize if I do chipping so a full shot they get a massive tick they're actually easy to see the only pr point is with the blue one is when you hit a full shot when, but when it sort of takes off up in the air it's very hard to see but then when you walk up to it, it's actually really easy to see in the grass so that's just something to bear in mind chip shots they are absolutely brilliant they feel very soft off the face you know they stop down nicely so the next test we're gonna do, go in this bunker drop three near and see how it is. So we've got three bunker shots. We've got the red one, green one, blue one. Now this bunker is, there's not much like sand. It's really very firm. So we might get a couple of beauty fin shots, but I will try my best to get that first off and then get underneath. Just as I expected, it come out thin because it's sand. Come out, guys. Um, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna get them. I'm gonna bring them back to the camera. I'm gonna see how the casing looks. We've hit chip shots, we've hit full shots, and we've hit some bunker shots. And we're gonna see how the casing is held up. So let's see if it's any damage, or let's see if it's still in tip-top condition. Right, guys. So let's see how these golf balls have held up. So this is the green one. It might be hard to see on camera because of the light, but in most case, it's held up really well. The casing is barely marked. There's a little scuff bit there, but it's not too bad. I think that's more so the paint. It is very hard to see in this light. Ah, you guys can probably just see it there. So yeah, the green one, it's held up well, you know, I'm impressed with these. Let's see what the blue one's like. The blue one, literally nothing. The blue one is just absolutely just, oh, there might be a little bit there from the bunker. I'm very sorry guys for the focusing on this. It's not that I'm not the best cameraman in the world. Uh, yeah, we've got a little bit of marking there, but again, not too bad. I'm again, I'm pretty impressed with that and stuff. These are really good golf balls. I am so impressed with them. And now the red one. Again, the red one. We've got the odd tiny mark from the bunker. You can see it better on the red one there. There's literally the odd bit of marking off the bunker, but nothing too mental. I tell you what, guys, I'm dead impressed with these. I think they're absolutely brilliant. And for the price, I really think a lot of people should use these for the price. What I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna uh, get some close-up shots of these, and yeah, so very impressed with that. Really good. quick summary um, I've just been in a few full shots for you guys to see um, for some slow-mos and stuff like that and again I mentioned it previously they are just so they feel so good off the face like for me they're just as good as any other premium golf ball really and for the price it makes me think that there's a massive market out there for something like this like just because the price is cheap 
it doesn't mean the rubbish. And I think that's a big thing to look on on this video, you know? Just because things are cheap, it don't mean the rubbish. Right then guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you did enjoy my first golf ball review. I know I've done other stuff like this before with the softballs and stuff like that. But honestly, these things are amazing. And if you guys ever think that paying more for a golf ball is gonna make things, make your game better or stuff like that, it didn't, because honestly, these things are brilliant. I literally have nothing negative about these to say. The only minor thing is when I was in the bunker, uh, the casing scratched up a little. Maybe that's the only, you know, where you can tell that these are a bit cheaper than other premium golf balls, but in terms of feel, in terms of flight, in terms of everything like that, these things are absolutely amazing. Now, future golf ball reviews, I might do some putting with them. I just don't know whether I can film on the practice green here at Ickleton. Uh, I'll have to get some sort of permission or whatever, because I just want to rock up with your camera and start filming putting. But honestly, these things are amazing. Definitely worth checking out, guys. Noodle Neons are massively worth it for me. These things get a four out of five star. The only reason I've not given it a um, five is because for me that's like perfection and these things are close to being perfect but just with the scratching of the casing on some of them and stuff like that. I'm being very nitpicky but you've got to be when you're doing reviews and stuff. Other than that, they're great. Definitely worth checking out. Guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Do all that good stuff and I'll see you people in the next one. Goodbye.